Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I posted a video, but this quarantine stuff has just got me in lazy mode. So I hope y'all forgive me. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with our DIY. I'm taking these two arrows and these wooden blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree, and we're gonna turn these into a little house. So y'all keep watching to see how I make this little house. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take out these little staples on the back in this jute twine. And believe me, these were hard to get out. You wouldn't think they would be so hard being it's Dollar Tree stuff, but they were giving me a run for my money, for real. So here I'm fixing to grab out my little bitty sharp knife that I use for everything crafty. And I don't recommend this because it's really dangerous. So if you do do this, please, please be careful. Here I'm just going to take my sandpaper and just go over and, you know, soften up those edges and those little rough spots. Now I'm just going to give these a couple of coats of the Waverly chalk paint and plaster. I'm also going to give all of my little um, blocks, wooden blocks, a couple of coats of the same chalk paint. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my Gorilla wood glue and I am going to take a Q-tip and I am just going to like dab the glue on top of my blocks. I've already glued the blocks onto the first side of the house and once I get done with the glue, I'm gonna put the other one on top of them.
So I'm just taking and making sure that all of the little blocks are even, and then I'm gonna add some weight to them so they will stick really good when that, while they're drying. Now that they're all dry, I'm gonna take some Waverly chalk paint in the elephant in silver lining color, and I'm just gonna kind of give uh, my houses some definition and some distressing. So I just keep playing around with the paint and everything until I get the look that I'm going for. Um, you know, my um, DIYs are meant for inspiration, so you can do whatever colors or style that suits, you, suits your decor. So here I'm just, you know, flicking the color kind of on the, on top of the paint. Um, I didn't want to just like paint like solid. So I'm just kind of flicking my brush a little bit just to give me those little textured spots, if that makes sense. So here I'm just playing around with the colors again and just kind of going back and forth between the three to kind of get those edges blended in better. Now I will say looking back on this, I did really like the texture that I was getting there, but I decided to go in a totally different direction, which you will see here when you see the final result.
Now I'm just taking some jute uh, twine and um, I'm just gonna kind of slip that through the little slat and um, glue it on the front and then I'm gonna make a, a burlap bow. Now this is the direction that I started going in in the beginning. But then I decided that I really wanted my house to be a little bit more white. So I went back in with my plaster and I painted it more on the front. And then I went back after that and just gave it a light sanding just for a little bit of that, those grays to pop through. Now this is another idea that you can do instead of what I did in the final result. Um, but let me say, this getting this jute through those little slats on the side, that was a little job right there. So here is the final result. As you can see, I did go over it some more with the white and I also added that gray and white ribbon that I had on hand that I've used in previous DIYs and a little bit of boxwood greenery left over from Sierra's wedding. And I really love how it turned out. I also did take two of the little wooden blocks and glued those together to make me like a little chimney. And I'm just like, 
I'm, I'm in love with it. I really am. I hope that y'all love it as much as I do. And um, I will be getting some more videos up for y'all this week. And thank you for watching. And I will talk to y'all next time. Bye.